What is going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at Dudex as well as the current coin market cap. Uh, I had a couple of people reach out to me asking questions about Dudex, so I just want to cover that a little bit later in today's episode. So if you had um, questions about the risk manager portion of that, I will talk about it a little bit later on in today's video. Otherwise, I do just want to look really quickly at the market cap because the coins are starting to to, you know you know correct back to the upside which is nice to see but I feel like a lot of people may be under the miss you know they may be miss uh, understanding the way the market is actually trading hopefully with the Bitcoin chart pulled up right now you guys can get a better understanding of what exactly is going on but I do want to cover these coins a little more in depth in today's video um, otherwise if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up this way you help out the YouTube algorithm and remember to follow me on Twitter uh, uh, at crypto v official this way if you have any questions comments or concerns you can reach out to me or dm me on there otherwise let's jump into today's episode all right guys so i'm on my youtube channel really quickly yesterday's video we discussed the interesting uh you know portion of where the market was potentially going to be breaking out now hopefully you guys didn't you know think or mis uh, understand what exactly i wrote uh in reference to the point of breakout this wasn't saying that the breakout is happening right this second i was saying that we pretty much found the point of breakout and what is most likely going to happen when we get there and then what is going to happen when we hit it and start to you know get that massive volume injection into the market so i do want to continue off of that basis you can see uh with the markets trading right now we are actually doing fairly okay uh before i do that though i just want to give another shout out to what i'm going what i'm giving away right now so there is still uh 13 days left to take advantage of the crypto influencers giveaway uh, obviously it's a free two dollars that i'm raffling off so definitely make sure to check it out there is a link in the description to that it's free to enter super easy literally takes five seconds on a phone or a laptop to do and you have five ways to enter uh just with everything that's going on i thought it would be a great opportunity to give back to my subscribers for making the channel what it is today so definitely make sure to check that part out otherwise i do just want to jump right back into where we left off uh, so obviously markets are back up slow consolidation to the top you can see what we're seeing right now a slow movement but for the most part a lot of these cryptos are in sync once again with eos binance coin litecoin we have bitcoin sv bitcoin cash we even have xrp ethereum and bitcoin trading very similar this isn't necessarily a bad thing i do want to discuss these cryptos markets are doing well up about i'd say four to five percent all across the board uh ethereum is going to be an interesting one because you can see it is breaking bullish outside of its resistance do i think it's going to last i'm not too sure uh, obviously i will go over that a little bit later in today's video now specifically i want to talk about bitcoin you can see on Bitcoin, guys, uh, we're in a very interesting pickle. You can see for the most part, we've had since the beginning of, or sorry, the mid of March. So we've had about a month now, a little over a month of this uh, bullish, higher lows being set, uptrend. And it seems like we're coming to a point now where we're hitting our resistance. You can see the resistance is set for Bitcoin at $7,400. So obviously the middle moving average is coming into play here. Not only that, but we're actually seeing a bullish cross on the MACD, that's big. Uh, there is a bearish cross on the, sorry, a bullish cross on the middle moving average, a bearish cross on the MACD. So there's a lot of indicators here that are showing us kind of being all over the place. It's really hard to specifically choose and predict which direction Bitcoin is going to break. The most I can do at the current moment is tell you when that's going to happen and if you pay just the slightest bit of attention to the way the charts are are trading right now you can see this comes to an end right at about april 21st to april 22nd that's where we end up hitting the resistance and then hitting support so this is going to be i'd give it maybe four days at most the point of you know the apex that's going to be where we're going to have the bulls and bears battle that's going to be the deciding factor this isn't necessarily a bad thing it actually helps us figure out how uh how to set up positions how much easier it will be and that's going to lead me into talking about the dudex risk manager um because i might have said something a little bit wrong yesterday when i rewatched my videos and had people reach out but obviously when we get here there's going to be 
two things that are going to happen. We're going to either break bullish with extreme volume, the resistance at 7,400, or we're going to break bearish the support with extreme volume and probably fall down to either 64 to even $6,000 very quickly. Uh, we look good though. We are setting higher lows. That is definitely a good sign. The bullish cross is a good sign for Bitcoin, but we're coming very close to retesting this resistance and then we're going to have to set up a couple different scenarios. So in regards to the Dudek trades you can see on the risk manager what i was talking about yesterday if we did a sell short with a limit order i forgot to mention but i actually wrote it down for you guys do 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 do, do. so for those of you that were watching me you actually have to set your limit price uh, above the current price of bitcoin when you decide to sell short that's the tip that i wanted to give you guys so uh, very simple if you're trading at 71.95 you would set it you know a little bit higher you can also do a market order which might be a little bit easier for you guys but that would ultimately make the purchase just happen the second you 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 know clicked place order so limit order will allow that to fill when the price approaches there might be a little bit easier for you guys um i can if you guys are interested and you leave some comments down below if you're i can leave a link at some point uh to go over briefly what it is i also have another video on my channel which explains exactly how to put out those positions on the risk manager so definitely check that out but um you can see pretty much exactly what's going on within bitcoin right now also huge shout out to dudex because they are adding other cryptocurrencies we have bitcoin to tether which is a great uh comparison who knows what other cryptocurrencies are coming so i definitely recommend you take advantage of their platform now before it gets way too flooded or i don't even think way too flooded but it becomes extremely popular i think that's what's going on right now we've been using it for quite some time now and um, they're doing a lot of giveaways just to you know get people to join the platform so take advantage of that that's what i meant they're doing a lot of um, sign up bonuses if you check my description of the video which will give you some free bitcoin while you sign up and it's also an amazing tool to be able to use uh, stop losses and shorts on a crypto like this and then future cryptos to come to the website so it's going to be awesome. Hopefully they add XRP, Ethereum, or Litecoin eventually. It will definitely open us up to other trading uh, pairs on the platform. But specifically, you guys can see what we're dealing with again. You can see it's fairly obvious to read. We have, once again, our strong resistance up here at $7,400. And we have our strong support at $6,800. So it's really a matter of which direction we want to break and how exactly we're going to go along trading those uh, positions. So um, whether or not you want to set up the positions uh, you can obviously set up uh, alerts for when you would like to be you know noted of when the price comes so obviously you can set up a short position uh, you can use limit if you want or you can use the risk manager tool and you can set up a position for Bitcoin to short closer to sixty eight hundred dollars maybe yeah sixty eight hundred uh, in anticipation for us to fall through here because this is an extreme support but then if you look at the way the markets trend and with this being an extremely strong support there's less likely a chance of us breaking bearish we're actually in some sort of uptrend i don't even know if you guys noticed that but there is some sort of uptrend taking place on the coin we are setting higher lows for bitcoin's price and it may ultimately lead us up to a higher position with that being said a buy long with a leverage of maybe 10 times giving us uh, quite a bit of profit if we do decide to break that 7400 dollar position so very simple with the limit order, it would be, let's just do 745.50. We have about 0.29 of a Bitcoin available, so we could easily do, and this is what you would enter into US dollars, not Bitcoin. So we could do maybe $2,500 right there. That gives us a notional value of 0.33 because we have the leverage option set to 10 times. And then it's as simple as clicking buy long, good till canceled, and it is literally that simple. And it will fill when we get closer to there, and then we ride the wave back up. Pretty easy to set up definitely recommend signing up for dudex because it is a great opportunity to have this is the platform that i use in all my trades and all my positions so it really doesn't make sense to be watching these videos and not using dudex uh because you're not you're missing out on you know on a big opportunity so dudex is linked down below uh, it's a great tool to have in your you know portfolio and in your strategies um so just to move on to xrp and some of the other cryptos you know, when you look at Bitcoin, it looks like we're going to be hitting that uh, apex very soon. When you look at the other cryptocurrencies, we're seeing a lot of uh, different movements. You can see with XRP, we're actually doing a really good job maintaining this resistance now. It was currently a 
support for the longest time since May 12th. And then eventually we broke through that and it's been acting as a resistance, but it looks like it's trying to break through it. And with that being said, it looks like we're getting very close to retesting this resistance up here once again, 20 cents. So we may actually see a little more volume and, and price spike today, which could allow the price to get back above the uptrend and then ultimately get right back into the sandwich here. And then obviously we're gonna be battling the middle moving average and the MACD, but ultimately if we we can break through 20 cent resistance it's a buy long position there otherwise we break bearish we're going to expect to see a big drop down to 15 cents ultimately volume is coming guys volume is coming very quickly it's going to come very rapidly and it's going to be a huge opportunity to make quite a bit of money so that's why you got to have all your tools set up prior to these movements because they always happen you know there's a lot of volume and a lot of money to be made when leverage trading cryptocurrencies ethereum you can see looks like it's starting the you know it's foreshadowing what a lot of the other cryptos are going to do you can see it broke bullish through its middle moving average trading a little bit high it's probably overbought on the four hour yes it is just ever so slightly but on the daily we look great we look like there's plenty of room you can actually see we bounced off the middle moving average which is good you can see that may be a good sign you can see that ethereum may actually be foreshadowing the movements for the other cryptocurrencies you can see it just slightly bounced off of it right here we came close and we averted or diverted the movement so the same thing could apply with bitcoin you can see right here how we swung below and we're going to head up so with that being said now that i noticed that I'm actually kind of more bullish than I am bearish when you take a better look at the way the MACD is coming. We came close, but there was no cross. We had a bullish cross on the middle moving average. We're setting higher lows. This is going to be a great test. So I may actually set up for a uh, a limit order, uh, a bullish order for Dudex, you know, for Bitcoin. Um, and I would set that limit order to fill when we break, I would personally say above 75 five hundred dollars um i will be explaining my specific trades in my uh sorry in my patreon down below that's where i put all my trades out and i basically share with you guys my short orders limit orders buy long sell short stop losses all of that information is over there if you guys actually want to see it hard copy definitely recommend signing it up huge shout out to everyone we're almost at 70 patreon subscribers too which is awesome and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Litecoin's getting back up there too, retesting potentially. I think it will uh, be retesting its resistance. We diverted. We got away from the MACD crossing. So there's a lot of bullish signs here, especially on Bitcoin, seeing that bullish cross right there. So big things to come, guys. Um, obviously, like I said, definitely make sure to take advantage of the Bitcoin giveaway, guys. We have a ton of people signing up there. And otherwise, that's going to wrap up today's episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, follow me on Twitter at CryptoBeOfficial, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.